will go through the entire southern portion of the Pinedale Anticline gas field. More than 60,000 oil and gas wells have been drilled on public lands in the Rocky Mountain West. More than 100,000 new wells are planned for Wyoming, Colorado, Utah, Montana, and New Mexico. In order to grasp the scale of energy development in the West, pilot Bruce Gordon says you have to get off the ground. When you drive by uh, on a road, you may see a sign that says oil and gas field, and you might see a road or a truck go by. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Gordon elevates his passengers to an altitude that he says offers a more accurate perspective. When you're up in the air, all of a sudden you see miles and miles and miles of this network of roads. You see the traffic, you see the dust pollution, and then you see where these wells are located. A lot of them are located right near major tributaries, right in major watersheds, and uh, even you know, in some cases down in Colorado, they've been right in the, uh, the water resource itself. A conservation flyer for 20 years, Gordon founded EcoFlight in 2002, not long after the energy boom had taken off in the West. Recently, we've seen an enormous increase in the industrialization of our western lands, especially revolving around oil and gas. Gordon flies the Rocky Mountain states from the Mexican border to Canada, averaging 50,000 air miles a year. His passengers include governors and senators, reporters, conservationists, industry executives, and even government officials in charge of regulating the drilling. The most active places are here in Pinedale and in um, the Rhone Plateau in Colorado. And of course, the San Juan Basin down in southern Colorado has enormous impacts. Conservationists estimate as many as 50,000 new wells could be drilled here in Wyoming alone. Gordon not only flies over developed gas fields like the Jonah and Pinedale Anticline, he also shows off wild places targeted for future drilling. Just west of the Jonah and Pinedale fields sits the Wyoming Range, a large swath of roadless country prized for its hunting and fishing and wilderness qualities. Gordon says during his hundreds of hours in the air, he sees how drilling is chipping away at these special places. Such rapid change has those on the ground worried. Mike Bird works in the soda ash plants near Green River, Wyoming. On the weekends, he likes to hunt and fish in the Wyoming Range. If you ever get drilling in the Wyoming range like they've had around uh, the Jonah Field and the Pinedale Anticline and northeast part of Wyoming, it's, it's going to devastate this area. I mean, it, that scale of development, the, these mountains can't handle it. That's where Gordon comes in. For this pilot, the only way to keep track of all this change is from the air. So he wants to share that perspective with as many people as possible so they can decide for themselves what's best for the West. My job is to get people up there so that they're debating these issues and they are having a voice and hopefully their voices are heard. For This American Land, I'm Gary Stryker.